Hi, I grew up in Delhi, India. This is a photo of me when I was five with my family. And here's another where I met the president, APJ Abdul Kalam. When I was 10, my parents fearlessly left a secure financial life to pursue the American dream. That actually started out with us living with my grandparents in Florida and my father busting tables. Perseverance led him to a successful career in technological marketing, and the IBM laptop he gave me to learn to program inspired me to pursue computer science courses at my high school. Many of my peers do not have parents who encourage them to take computer science or robotics courses, but by simply taking these classes, I've learned coding in Java and JavaScript, and I'm in the process of earning my Cisco certification by the end of this year. Although my generation is digitally engaged, according to Girls Who Code, only 0.3% of high school girls select computer science as a college major. If researched by the Colombian state that 74% of middle school girls express interest in science, technology, engineering, and math programs, then at the high school level, Literally more than 73% of girls are losing interest, not encouraged, or utterly unexposed to STEM education. Currently, the Atlantic indicates that 12% of all computer science graduates are women, compared to the 37% in 1984. I'm one of the handful of girls at the Computer Science Valtech program at my campus. And next year, there will be fewer than five girls in these advanced courses. This is a frustrating reality. In 2013, Code.org was co-founded by the Partovi brothers because nine out of 10 schools in the United States were not teaching computer science. Employers argue that the key to reducing the gender imbalance lies in schools, which is supported by the data by RDAC Research they say that 55% of overall AP test takers are girls, with the boys taking 83% of the AP, AP computer science exams annually. Currently, computer science is essentially the second language that, that makes future careers accessible to all. Therefore, we must embed it in every class 
in every course as part of an ongoing curriculum. Because as part of an ongoing curriculum, it, uh, empowering girls is our motivation because <laughs> sorry um, as just like Marissa Myers the CEO of Yahoo is actively trying to inspire young women to enter careers in tech and narrow the gender gap I too want to make a difference in my high school campus I will make an impact by increasing awareness and access for female students to enter careers in tech and learn computer science. <laughs> and learn computer science. In closing, I want to point out that even at Google, Apple, and Facebook, females account for less than one third of the workforce. The, dis the problem isn't discrimination in hiring. As Megan Smith, the former vice president of Google X said, we're falling behind the rest of the world if we don't teach our girls how to code. Learning how to code is an empowering experience, and closing the gender gap is the way to solve the problems in the future. Girls in Tech is not a program. It's a movement. Thank you.